thank you all so much for stopping by today. So a lot of you have been wondering where I have been and apparently I am one of the very few people who can manage to use a terabyte of space. And when I say a terabyte, that basically means my computer uh, pretty much went out, y'all. It went out. Well, I won't say went out, but it's so slow that the editing program that I use, it was taking me hours to try to edit just one video. So um, my kids think it's funny. They say they've never seen anyone use a whole terabyte of space. But here's the thing. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And for all of you that are returning, thank you so much again for watching our videos. But like I told them, if you're new, guess what? We have over almost 300 something videos on YouTube where we're showing gardening tips, tricks, techniques, and recipes for you to just go and binge watch if that's what you want to do. So that is where the terabyte went, but apparently I was not deleting things like I should have been. So um, we got a new computer. Um, but I'm in the process of moving a lot of things off my old computer onto an external hard drive um, so that once that's done, then we will move in our new computer. But I am pretty much back. I've had to delete off some videos, so that's how I'm able to upload this video. So that is just a quick snapshot of where I have been. But over the coming few weeks, we will be getting right back into the same routine that we used to have with our videos. Okay, so what I wanted to share with you today is some of the things that we're growing in our container gardens. And a lot of people think you have to have a massive amount of space to grow, but you don't. And I just wanna show you what we're doing around the garden. We're actually um, doing a lot of seed starting. I was out here today just planting some things in containers. I'll turn around. Uh, the camera in a minute and show you that but also make sure you stick around till the end so that I can tell you how to get the free container guide that we have on our website so that you too can get started too. Container gardens are great if you don't have a lot of space, if you want to start small, if you want to start on your patio or wherever you need it to be, but you can grow just about, just about anything in containers. And I'm also going to show y'all two new things that we're growing in containers this year that I am super excited for. So let's go ahead, let's get started. Let me show you all what I have been working on. So we've been doing a lot of soil blocking and I have been planting some of them in containers now. These are mixtures of flowers and herbs, but I actually um, wanted to try strawberry from seed and we are getting good germination with the strawberries. So we've got strawberries also that we started from seed. Um, over the past week, I've taken out some of the things and just put them in containers. Y'all know I love growing lettuce. So this is like a new lettuce um, variety that we are trying. I think it's called Global Market Mix. And um, so we got those in containers. And then I just put these little dianthus and petunia soil blocks in here. And this is what I wanted to tell you all, like don't limit yourself to the type of container. Always get creative. These were, um, what this is, is like the, a utensil set. So where you have your forks, knives, and spoons, um, we found these on clearance. And so I decided to, um, last season we planted herbs in here. We planted sage and peppermint in here. But this year we're going to put some flowers in here. So just think about, um, think outside the box when it comes to containers because you really don't have to have like traditional containers. There are a few things that um, you have to think about and this all goes over in the free container gardening guide that we'll tell you about in just a bit. But I just always look for things that are on clearance that I can make it into a container. Okay, so we have added some new containers on our patio. These were on clearance. I'm telling y'all, always look out for the clearance. Um, I just happened to see these maybe like, uh, maybe 
back in December, I think um, I found these on clearance. But right here, we have the bok choy in here. And what we're doing is we're just leafing off of it. This is why I have it planted a little bit closer um, than what it said. Because what I can do is like when I make stir fries, I just come and leaf off of the outer leaves and let the middle continue to grow. Um, we were over on TikTok and it's been so many views about this grow Oya. So let me just take a, a couple of minutes to explain what this is. So the Oya is basically a terracotta vessel that helps you with watering. I always tell people when you're container gardening, you have to think about where's your watering source? How are you going to water? Are you going to bring it inside? Do you have a watering hose? Are you going to use a watering can? Because when you're gardening in containers, the plants depend on you. They cannot get their water source except from you. So what this does, and it's so helpful for us, is you fill this vessel up with water. And as the soil gets dry, it seeps out and you, you know, we have a hole dug, but as it the soil gets dry, it seeps out and waters the soil. So it really helps us during the summer months when sometimes we have to come out here and water twice a day this really helps so this is the grow oya um i don't know i guess i've seen it before but some people were talking about a wine bottle i have seen something like that where you turn you turn it upside down but this is not what this is is this is you dig the hole and you let the water from the terracotta seep and i've also seen people make this same um, something very similar out of the terracotta pots. You just have to figure out a way to seal it. Um, but I really, really like this. And we and they come in several sizes. We have a small, medium, large, and we use them all over the garden. So here is another container that we're growing. This is like the purple um, bok choy. And let me tell you how I started growing these is because um, a lot of times, people want to know why do you start from seed Well, you start from seed because it's, it's reasonable is more reasonable thinking about the amount of plants that you can get and then you also can kind of um, experiment with different varieties in your zone and so I seen this bok choy at one of the big box stores and it was like almost six dollars okay so I just went home ordered a pack of seeds um, that maybe cost me $2 and we're able to have an array of the purple bok choy. And then right here we have soil blocks of the creeping thyme. That's why you see this label right here. Um, so it's starting to take off. That's another thing about container garden. When you first transplant something into the container garden, really keep an eye on it just to make sure that it is um, becoming established to the location and you know you don't want it to dry out. So think about things like that. So over here, we have some container kale. This is a specific variety. And a lot of seed companies are really making varieties that's suitable for a container. So that way you can grow no matter what. This is actually a container kale variety. So that is what this is. And then if you love flowers as much as I do, I'm gonna move right here because these are the Calibracoa. And I got scared for these because we had a couple of little cold snaps and they took just a little bit of um, cold damage, but now the, the temperature was like 87 degrees the other day. So now it's coming back. I just love this color because the throat of the flower, if you all can see it, is like a yellow. And then like the black right here, I just think this is so beautiful. So we also, y'all, we grow herbs, vegetables, and flowers all in containers. So here's another example of growing vegetables in containers. And I won't take y'all all over the garden. I'll just take you in certain places because we do have a lot of things that are growing in containers. And again, I'll show you at the end. We're going to add some more things. But these are the carrots right here. And one thing I love about growing carrots, y'all, is you never, ever know what you're going to get. It's always a surprise. So let's see what we have right here. Um, and I just, I am one to just keep fumbling with stuff until I actually put Pull it up so this is a great time to do the video um, because these are the kaleidoscope carrots and I absolutely love them and they smell so good so here is one and you never know what size that you are going to get let's do one over here uh, let's see I'm gonna take these in the house and cook them anyway but 
see here's the yellow one wow that's a good size as well too so that's the thing about carrots with carrots you just want to make sure you have a container depending on the variety of carrots make sure your container has enough depth for them to grow down in because it's a root vegetable and also you want to make sure that your soil is nice and loose because if you have compacted soil the carrots are going to have a hard time um, trying to grow down so um, I'll harvest the rest another time but I just wanted to show you all we grew carrots in a container so just let your imagination be your guide um, and just grow what you want we actually grew an olive tree um, we grow that in containers as well but let me take you over to another part of the garden and I'll show you exactly what we're growing so I'll try to put up a photo of the Florida broadleaf kale that we were growing in these grow bags. That's still considered container garden and we've since switched them out and added some new things in here. Um, we have more carrots growing, but we also have like turnips growing in here. These are the purple top turnips. If you can see, it's time for me to pull these because the turnip root is seriously like saying I'm ready. So we have turnips here we have uh this is the bay leaf here so a lot of times when i'm cooking a lot of stews and things like that i will come out and just pick what i need that's the great thing about growing your own you don't have to get more or buy more when you don't need it you can just pick exactly what you need and let me move over to a new vegetable that we're trying this year that is um it's a mix between spinach and mustard so i'm eager to try it okay so this is what's known as i hope i'm saying it right cat masuna it is um originated in japan but it's like a mix it's a leafy green that's a mix between spinach and mustard and they are growing so good in here i'm actually about ready to start leafing off of these two um if you can tell i love stir fry i love salads and a lot of times i'll go to restaurants and they just do not meet my expectations with those stir fries so i took it upon myself years ago to learn my way of mastering the stir fry to taste the way i want to so i think i got it down packed Y'all, I got my, my wok pan, my spatula. So, you know, I can do a couple things with, with some stir fry. And as a matter of fact, we're gonna add some, we're gonna julienne some of these carrots here and we are going to put those in the stir fry as well. And then let me just show you one more thing and then we're gonna show you what we got new this year to grow in containers. Okay, so here are some beet greens and the roots. So we're growing those because I like to add beets to my smoothie and then um, also just add like the leaves, the beet leaves in salads as well. So we have those growing, but y'all, we have so many different things that are growing in containers and hopefully here soon, we can give you all like a early spring garden tour. And real quick, we're also growing blueberries in containers as well. So can y'all see the blueberries that are starting to form on uh, the plant? And I see a lot of bees that are coming over. So hopefully we'll have some blueberries really soon. These are specifically for containers. And we've had these for like maybe a couple years now and I'm really pleased with them. The only thing is we have to beat the birds once they start to ripen, like we'll have to come over and put um, the bird netting on there because if not, the birds will leave you with absolutely nothing. Okay, so I am very excited to be adding more citrus plants to the garden because um, I don't know if it'll come back, but this was all on me. So when we have like a frost or it's going to go below a certain temperatures, it just depends on the type of citrus, but I didn't take the key lime in like I was supposed to. I got two key lime plants and I didn't take it in like I was supposed to and the leaves show it. So it looks like the actual, um, like the, the bark is still alive. Maybe I can trim them up. But um, we have that and we have a few more citrus plants that we bought. But let me just show you really quick what we have. This is a, okay, I'm not going to mess the name up, but this is a mandarin, okay? This is a mandarin. And one thing that I always look at when I'm looking at tags 
is especially with citrus is the cold hardiness okay so this can stay outside down to 30 so this will let me know that if i look at the weather app and it gets below 30 i need to take this in the garage or protect it some type of way now here in coastal georgia we can grow a lot of citrus but again there are certain varieties that um you have to take in like it's you just you'll do like i did with the key line let me just leave it at that <laughs> this one is one i want to try because i love them and this is the blood orange and what i loved about these were that this one actually um no, it wasn't this one. It had to be another one. But this is down to 30 degrees too. So I just have to be careful. And if you see right here, these are our flowers that we're growing in containers too. So y'all don't limit yourself as to um, saying that you'll wait till you get to a bigger space or something like that because we're going to put these in a little bit bigger pots, but they will still fruit um, in the containers. And the reason why I know that is because I stayed in Naples, Italy, that's known for their citrus and they would really trim them up kind of like this, but they were so beautiful in terracotta pots and they grew so many citrus, um, plants and they grew them in the terracotta pots and they like really trimmed them up and they really fruited a lot because citrus trees, um, if you've ever been to like a citrus grove or something, they can get really big, really tall. Like if we look back at this one, this one gets up to 15 feet in height and 15 feet in width. So they can really get big. A container just basically contains them to not being able to, you know, grow their full potential, but they'll still be able to fruit. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, so if you're ready to start gardening in containers, then I want you to click the link in the description that says, get my free container guide. Click that link and get the guide because again, you can grow a lot of things in containers. You may have to do a few adjustments and you need to know a few things, but you still can grow in containers. I just showed you a few a few of the things that we're growing in containers. So make sure you click the link in the description, get my free container guide, learn some of those key things that you need, and then just say to yourself, what do I wanna grow this season and start growing it. Whether you go to the garden center and get the transplant, um, or whether you wanna go ahead and start with seeds and then move them to the containers. As always, thank you all so much for watching this video and make sure you share this video with your family and your friends. If you're not a subscriber, we would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Make sure you download the free container gardening guide link in the description and as always thank you all so much for watching and until the next video bye bye